Before we start to play with a ball, we need to get to know the ball and treat it like our friend. We need to develop the same kind of movements that a basketball player would with their hands with the ball, with our feet. So these exercises that we do now are called ball familiarity exercises, warming up exercises where we get used to moving the ball with the inside of a foot, with the outside of the foot, with our sole, and they're very, very important, and the whole basis of all the work that players would do in Brazil starts here with these, with these exercises. So the first one, we take the ball from the inside of our left foot to the inside of our right foot. Very simple, so just tap and tap, okay, on the spot. And as we get a little bit more confident, we can do that a little bit more quickly and develop a rhythm. Then when we can do that, we can move off into space and move the ball forward and run with the ball just with that same movement. And this is a very important first practice. Okay, boys, if you could just do that. So nice and slow, nice and slow. Heads up. Okay, excellent. And stop. The next exercise that we're going to do, we're going to use the sole of the foot. The sole of the foot is rarely used in English football. More so in the last few years when we've had foreign players come into the country, but before that, hardly at all. In Brazilian football, the sole is the most common area used to control the ball. This comes from those players learning in football de salon, where the sole is the key receiving surface. And the sole has many applications. We can pass with the sole, we can dribble with the sole, we can run with the sole of the foot, okay? Our basic warm-up exercise using the sole of the foot is just to drag the ball from left to right, left to right, just with that area there at the bottom of our shoe at the front on the sole. So left to right, nice and slow, and as we do it at first, just keep the standing leg planted on the floor. Because we're not used to this, at first it's not easy. But then when we get used to it, we get a little bit quicker, okay, and we can develop something of a nice rhythm and this helps us as I said in juggling sorry in dribbling moves when we're trying to beat players many of the dribbling moves that Brazilian players use that we've seen in the World Cup that we've seen from Ronaldo from Rivaldo uh, moves that use the sole of the foot and this exercise is very important for us developing control with the sole so if we can have some example okay off we go nice and wide not too quick nice and wide head up Brad it's important that we keep our head up all the time because in the game we're always looking for players to pass to, we've got opponents coming to us, so to play with our head down is not very good. And from a young age, we've got to try and develop where we're doing everything with our head up.